I see this as uh, your comments really is just tax the rich. Um, and I don't think that that is necessarily a good thing because rich people can afford to leave and they will leave and they do leave. And then what happens? So when those people leave, who pays the boat? Who pays that bill for uh, what you're talking about? Right. I happen to have one friend who was extremely wealthy. And he left Connecticut and his family and they uh, have a farm in New York and they moved to Florida. And I don't see us replacing that, that tax money that he took with him. Did and you um, mention what the income caps you were talking about? I missed it. So it's $100,000 for single filers as well as married filing separately, 150000 for head of household filers, and $200,000 for married filing jointly, which we often just refer to as married. That encompasses 85% of all tax filers in the state. Uh, my district is very blue collar. Um, and we have people in my district that might possibly benefit from this, but probably would be doing all the paying. No, so, um, so the, just to be clear, that's an income ceiling. So anybody below that is, is getting the, the tax. So that's un understood. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, but my district, uh, probably people make a little more than that, and then they would be held accountable to pay. I get calls all the time where people are struggling and all they do, as you said, uh, is try to pay their bills, work to do maybe a little something on a weekend, take their kids to a movie possibly, um, or these things. And so my district struggles kind of on the opposite end of what you're talking about. They're certainly not the wealthy people by any stretch of the imagination, but they're the ones that are working just to make ends meet, and this would be affecting them tremendously.